This is Josh with GSA Focus, and today I want to just say a thank you to everybody along the way. It's been 16 years uh, since I founded GSA Focus, and uh, many years before that, that kind of just led to uh, me being in the place I am, and I'm so grateful, so grateful. Um, so uh, recently, I read the book Outliers yeah, by Malcolm Gladwell. It's a great book. I have a really good uh, kind of short synopsis here. Uh, basically, it talks about geniuses and underdogs and uh, the, the ones who rise to success and the ones who kind of slip through, uh, the, you know, success slips through their fingers. Um, and Outliers kind of makes the case that these stories of supposedly self-made people are uh, misled into thinking that success is an individual achievement. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of hard work, ambition, all that stuff, drive. Um, but in reality, Outliers makes the case that every successful person had circumstances that contributed to their success. Um, this is kind of, you know, this rubs some people the wrong way. Um, but it's just a fact. Two people put into uh, two different, you know, running two different lives can do put in the same amount of work, thought, and everything. And some, for some people, uh, traction will happen. Uh, you know, the tires will catch the ground and they will take off others will be spinning their wheels for a little bit longer and maybe they'll get to the same place eventually maybe they'll spin their wheels forever uh maybe uh it'll fizzle out so you know circumstances do matter um and that's kind of just what i loved about the book really well written and all that i recommend it but today i just wanted to kind of go over a couple little things um i was born into an entrepreneurial family that's first and foremost just a huge blessing um I wasn't really, uh, you know, turned off by the thought of risk and uh, going into my into business for myself. It was just always something from a very early age that was seen as achievable. Um, so that right there is a really, really helpful thing. And I'm actually going to share my screen and show you a couple of things real fast. So um, here we go. There we go. So. I'm going to select this and share that. All right. So this is my, uh, you know, my mom and stepdad started a security system company. That's what I grew up in, taking phone calls all the time, uh, talking about the business constantly, just, you know, really driven. To this day, the company is still around. It's been 20, 30 years, a really long time. Uh, before that, my grandpa had a, a motor. You know, he sold used cars a motor company called Aardvark Motors. And then up until he passed away, he worked in uh, antiques. So he had an antique shop. I'd go surfing. And whenever I was around his his shop, which was right by the beach, uh, I would drop in and say hi to my grandpa. It was a pretty cool situation. Um, before him, you know, my my great great grandparents had a bottling company out in San Bernardino for Hires Root Beer and some other stuff. And that's as far back as I can trace. Um, I don't, no, um, you know, if it, if it goes past, you know, this, so that makes me a fourth generation small business owner. I don't know if it goes to fifth, sixth or seventh. That's as far back as I could trace. Uh, but anyways, back to the story, uh, you know, born into an entrepreneurial family, uh, went to college and that was great. I learned a lot, had a lot of fun and, and um, just studied a lot of really cool things. Um, I got a degree in bachelor's, a bachelor's in science degree in uh, cognitive science. The studying the thought process, which to this day is still something that I really enjoy to read about and think about. Um, but during college, I had a job at a place called Delta Graphics. And the owner, Jeff, uh, taught me FileMaker, um, along with Forrest, who I worked with. FileMaker became a really big thing. And it's just a really awesome business tool that is a, both a database with a, a graphic user interface built in together. So learning that not only, uh, you know, did I have the, uh, you know, lack of uh, fear going into business, but now I have a tool that helps me run it really efficiently. Uh, and then on top of that, Jeff just is a very, very smart guy, good mind, uh, applies the scientific method and uh, experimentation and fun and business wasn't seen as something that you just grind at, but it's something that you get to have a lot of fun experimenting with playing around. So that playful approach was applied. And then Forrest, who I worked with there as well, was kind of the yin to Jeff's yang. And he had the drive and the ambition and wanted to see how far he could push the business into success. So that was a really great kind of incubator for me to just kind of get, get 
a good understanding of what a business can look like. It doesn't have to be go to go there, grind and uh, live for the weekend. You can enjoy yourself while you're there. Um, after a little bit there, I went back back to my family company after that, after graduating college and uh, got them their first GSA contract. That was my first GSA contract. And when I uh, completed that process, I learned that, you know, basically nobody out there is really pointing towards small businesses in this. And it's, that's a big problem. My first video goes into that a lot more. Um, but, you know, so I, so I hung a shingle. Um, it was a huge, huge blessing that I knew search engine optimization. Um, nobody in the space was doing that. So when I started doing GSA contract services, uh, SEO really helped me to get customers fast and to grow the company into, uh, you know, pretty, pretty lively uh, bunch of customers uh, from the get go, um, even before I even knew a whole lot about GSA contracts. That was a wild time. Um, from, from there on out, really, it's just been growing the company slowly. It's been 16 years now. Uh, over the past two or three years, things have scaled really nicely. Um, you know, a lot of bumps in the road, but overall, I can't complain too much, you know. So we're up to nearly 500 customers. Uh, great team. Uh, just great team of, you know, MBAs and law student, uh, law degrees and a, a lot of passion for project management and, and efficiency and uh, just a, a very great atmosphere. So huge blessing to have the team that, that I have, uh, but I wouldn't be where I'm at without the customers. So each and every one uh, put their faith in GSA Focus. They put their faith in me, really, as the, the president, the founder, that uh, I would, you know, basically follow good on my promises to get them into the GSA program to, uh, you know, basically look out for them all along the way, keep their interests in mind. And uh, I feel like, you know, that's what we do here. We, we not just kind of grind to get you into the program, but kind of try to make sure that you're well prepared and, and also uh, that we make a lot of the small decisions along the way that are, that are right for you. Um, so, you know, over, I, I set out to help small businesses get into the GSA program and just rocket their companies into federal marketing um, and succeed. And I feel like we're doing that. I feel like there's more to be done. Uh, but overall, I just am so grateful. Thank you all so much. Again, Josh, GSA Focus, um, wouldn't be where I'm at without all of the, uh, you know, everything falling into place perfectly. You know, the um, circumstances were right. And, you know, I, I worked hard. I won't, I'll, I'll say that worked hard, a lot of time, a lot of thought. I'm always thinking about the business, but um, the circumstances were right too. So thank you.